So with tired hands, we go into fairy tale fables. This is a auto battler card game. That's super fun. Let me actually go to my history from the two games I was talking about last night. So this run I got, does it tell me sixth place? Now this doesn't look like I'm super strong, but this guy gives buffs to everybody based on items. I have a lot of items on these guys. So these two guys were like two or 100 with all their buffs and I got sixth place. The one before that I was playing demons. I got seventh place and I wasn't quite as strong this time. But with some demon synergies, this guy gives a bunch of buffs. I think I had some 50 to 60 stats and I got seventh place. It's kind of crazy. So, not not great runs just uh, last night when I was playing. So, let's jump in and hope I have better luck today. You'll stay a while and listen to the cat choirs. Try to find even more today. I doubt I'm ever finding more cat choirs in that one run. I kind of want to try a fluff fluff build. How are you today, Walta? I'm assuming that is a Breaking Bad reference. Breaking Bad counter at 135. I wonder if there are three times Romeo and three times Juliet. One of each dies equals bonus applies, and another dies. Does the bonus keep increasing? Freaky Fred? Yes, I think so. I also need to learn who the good um, heroes are to choose. Because I have the crystals you get from playing that let you unlock more uh, uh, like hero slots or whatever. And I need to know which heroes are the strong ones that I like to play that I want to unlock and play every time I have the option for it. I feel like the little dinosaur guy that attacks four times. Doing that with a hunter build is really fun, so I might want to unlock him anytime he's in a, the third or fourth position to unlock. King Midas, he this is the guy I was using on the dwarf build. So this guy, you only need two copies to triple, but you don't get treasures by tripling. You only get gold. I kind of like him. I think I might unlock him. Um... I think Odin's supposed to be good, really good too. Your first spell is cheaper. First spell spamming build is probably really good. Each, time you, each two times you roll, upgrade one character in your shop, but they cost double the gold minus one. I'm going to unlock King Midas and play him. And I'd like to do a dwarf build with King Midas, because that's what I tried to do yesterday and got sixth place, and I feel like I was way stronger than sixth place. Where's Sir Fluffington the Third, Lord of the Fluffy Cats? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna grab you. I'm gonna try to do dwarves. I don't think I've done dwarves on stream yet either. So dwarves get buffed by how many items you own. So that's the dwarf mechanic. They like items. It'll be interesting to see a Romeo Juliet death, depression, murder pyramid in action. How high last remaining Juliet can get, huh? Thanks, there's some there. Seems there is some exponential buffs available, yeah. Might eventually try an, another Romeo Juliet build if we get a good start to one. I'd like to roll, but this is just too strong to do this right here. That's just too strong. Alright, and I will freeze for freeze for dwarfy upgrade. Or not up. Yeah, that will be an upgrade. So yeah, this King Midas uh, hero only needs two copies to triple, but instead of treasure, you get one gold. So for cards that the like the upgrade on it is super good, I feel like he can have some pretty crazy builds. It only takes two to get the upgraded version. And I saw somebody one time who had an insanely strong dwarf build with him, and so I Trying to replicate that. Cherry flute music to accompany death and destruction of fairy tale heroes clobbering each other into bloody messes. All you need is a bit of an imagination and creativity. All right. I think we just win this, right? Nice. Okay, do that. And now I need to start buying items. Or just get more dwarves, I guess. 
That's another thing where I could get double of the frog guys, but that's if I'm going royals. I would rather... I want to... I really want to make a dwarf build happen. This is for you, Shogi. We're going to get all the dwarves. <laughs> rock and stone, my brothers. Rock and stone. <laughs> so this girl gets... Ev uh, plus two, plus one for each item you own. And that means... And items... Each... Stats breakdown. Different characters have different stats. Most characters can have one item. There's some dwarves that can carry more items. And some dwarves buff other dwarves based on how many items you have or by how many items they're carrying and all that kind of stuff. So having a bunch of items is what dwarves are built around. Yes! Dwarf build! <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. Any dwarves? Mm, I want to buy cheap items to start and get... Here we go, Consti. So this guy, I'm not exactly sure how he's supposed to work. He's a dwarf. Set my permanent sets. I think what he's supposed to do is there are items that steal stats from their character. I think you put an item that steals stats from this guy and his stats will always get recovered or something. I think that's how he's supposed to work. All right, I do want Snow White. She gets buffed from... Um, every time you buy a dwarf. She's also one of the few what place... Quests. When you complete quests, you get a treasure. Quests are like one of the few ways to actually get... Um, a treasure. On dwarf, on a dwarf build. Okay, I'm making myself weaker now. Hopefully be stronger later. Different dwarves are available each level? Yes. Every build in a game like this... You know, there'll be some level 2 units that are of a certain type, level 3 units of that type, and all that. And actually, I can double buy her? Now that's weird. So she's an upgraded version of herself without the quest being done. Now that is interesting. That is interesting. And so her stats go up every time we buy a dwarf or an item. I'm looking for either good items to freeze on or dwarves. There's young Fluff Fluff. If only we could go dwarves and fluffs. We'll have to do a fluff attempt with a different character today. I've yet to win a lobby going full Fluff Fluffs. Somebody said something about there's a demon that works well with cats. A demon that... Actually, that young cat would be pretty good if cats are dying around it. It gets buffs every time. I think there's some other one that like would copy the stats on a cat or something. No, another dwarf player. Only I'm allowed to play with dwarves. Go away. I am the dwarf master. Lord Fluffington. <laughs> All right, we'll get this sleigh item. No dwarves here. So steals, so this vampire dagger. Steal two, two permanently from my wearer. So I think that's a vampire dagger on this guy who, he loses stats, but then he sets his stats to something. I think counteracts that and just makes this weapon get bigger and bigger. I think is how that works. Alright, well, I didn't get a lot of dwarves this round. There's a... I need to fill my board. There's a... A three dwarf that I think gives an aura to everybody based on their items or something. I don't know, I'm not completing your quest all that fast, although 
The challenge of dwarves is you have to spend a bunch of money on weapons and not just units. And leveling up faster so you can get to six where the really good dwarves are is probably something I should keep an eye out for is good spells. That's another some, some a thing that a YouTube viewer said in the comments that I was skipping good spells or something. I'm sure there's a lot of things I can do to improve my play. But games like this are so... They're fun, but they're really complex to know how to min-max them. Like, when do I buy spells? When do I buy items? I'm trying to play dwarves, so I'm trying to buy items so I don't have the mana or gold to buy the spells and all that kind of stuff. Man, double ranged. Okay, at least we tie. Okay, we're gonna double you again, apparently. Okay. So if I win or tie... I lose the XP, so I want to lose. I don't think I'm losing against this guy. If I take this experience, I want to lose. So I guess what I could do is take some dudes off my board to guarantee we lose. Here's one of the good dwarves. Okay. So he gets more stats the more items we put on him. And he can carry... Two items to start, and if you upgrade him, I think you can carry three items. All right, so what I want to do is I want to purposefully throw here while still getting whatever stats I can get. So he'll buff this dagger. You will hopefully get your slay. I want to lose as gracefully as poss possible. He's got like, what, 2, 16, 18, about 22 attack, these range. I think something like this is about, I mean, he might have stronger stats, but I'd like to make sure I lose on purpose here. Oh, that is a great, this is a perfect item for dwarves, almost missed it. An item that doesn't take an, up an item slot. So good for dwarves, it's just a buff. Ideally, I killed this guy. While still losing. Damn it, we're gonna... Are we winning? No. Uh, yes, we lost! Perfect! Perfectly calculated. Calculated loss. So good. Ooh, okay, before we do this... I buy this. Doesn't take up a slot. Combine. I think there's a way to cheese it with to have extra items in your slot sometimes too. I don't think that worked though. Okay. We're going to five next turn, so unless there's something really good. Like an upgraded dwarf. Didn't want to freeze, but doubling up on this guy. Well, is doubling up this guy is not one of the late game dwarves I want to play around, I don't think. So I don't think freezing for this guy is worth. Did I ever play Ascension deck builder game? No, I don't think I've ever played that. And actually... Give you the thing that makes you uh, slay for more stats. You're my big guy to build around. If it was this guy, I would freeze for this guy to double up. Because more of these guys are really good. This guy doesn't really do anything for my item building stacking, I don't think. I will say this King Midas guy, since he triples with only two copies, sometimes it's hard to fill your board if you're just getting a bunch of triples. The next round will guarantee get her quest done. Just need to buy one dwarf or one item. Oh, poor Fluff Luff got wrecked. There are 
a lot of ranged backline. Well, I guess I keep just playing this person over and over again. Alright, any dwarves? I don't see any dwarves currently. Let's get her quest done by buying a, an okay item. Characters have 1 plus 1 plus 2. Your first character is 0 plus 14. Your first character has... Hmm... None of the dwarf synergies is, you know, give my stats to other characters. So this gives, multiply this by seven. Plus seven, plus 14. I think this is the best all around pickup when I have a full board, which hopefully I'll make happen soon. Come on, please give me some dwarves. Okay, that's not the one I was looking for, but that's fine. He now goes up to 14-14. I could sell a weapon to get this one. Because this weapon right now is up to 9-9. Nine, nine. If only I could let you wear two items, that would be cool. But that'll steal even more stats quicker, I think. Something like that, I guess. I want you to get the uh, slaying stats. I don't know exactly the best way to use these vampire weapons that steal stats. I think I want to put them on this guy who keeps giving him his own stats back. I think. Oh, we got Cat Choir, bro. We should get plenty of our Slay buff here, depending how many cats he summons. Oh wait, this guy's dead. <laughs> this guy died last round. I'm playing the ghost. All right, well, at least I'm not last place. Come on, dwarves. Steal even more stats. Okay, I need I need to fill my board before I'm buying more items, I feel like. Okay. So she gives an aura that all characters with items have plus two plus two. At least something. Oh, and I gotta buy a pouch every time I see it for one of these guys. Gives him so much so many stats. <sighs> Wrong dwarf. Am I fighting somebody for the dwarves? Yes, I am. No wonder I can't find the dwarves. Although, it doesn't look like he has any of the good level 5 dwarves either. No wonder I'm having a hard time finding the dwarves. Uh, trying to remember what the other good dwarves are. Uh, where is it? There's a collection you could look at. Characters. Dwarves. Dwarf. So there's the smith that can upgrade them. This guy can carry extra items and he gives gets extra stats from those items. This guy gives your dwarves their item stats two times for the fight. Give your dwarves plus four plus four for the fight for each item you own. Okay, those are the good ones we're looking for, trying to roll for. Someone unplug their USB. My my computer just makes that sound sometimes. And I don't know why. My uh, my streaming the my capture PC just makes that sound. All right. Well, it looks like we have better dwarves, and we're one ex one experience level higher. So hopefully we can get to six quicker. Come on, give me at least one of the level 5 dwarves, please. Yes, okay. Carry more items. Give me 100% of my item stats for the fight. So I want to give you... Some items with good stats. 
that don't steal from you, I guess. Although most of the items I have steal from me, so. I'm not exactly sure. This is one of those things where I'm like, I'm unsure how to min-max this. I need other items, I guess. Oh, damn. There's a guy who can upgrade items. But I, I don't want to freeze this turn, because if I freeze, I miss out on chance for sixes. 30 people just looked at their PC and wonder what USB got booted. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. So, man, I need to... I wonder if it's worth giving him this big weapon, even though it steals stats. It probably is. Oh, and he has four item slots, too. And what if I just do that? He's going to get a bunch of stats stolen every time. And I'm worried about that. He's going to lose 5-5 five, five every fight. That seems really bad, actually. And I don't know how to use this whole stealing stat mechanic correctly. I need a tutorial on how to play dwarves, apparently. These are stats are looking good. Got a couple sleigh buffs, that's good. That guy's dead. All right, looking for some level six dwarves. What do we got? I need level six dwarves, and I need good items. Uh, I'm not doing spells. Okay. Double that guy. Triple. Whatever. And I have no boosts, do I? That item does not seem good for this. Okay, let's give him that. Permanent stat, stat, buff, stat buffs, I guess. My Wearer Slayer's triggered an additional time. So if I put a bunch of slays plus that on there, I feel like that could be decent. I feel like there's something that, like, your entrances... or auras... There's probably better weapons than that. For boosts, I'm an HP, I multiply by two. More stealing stats. Okay. You have better stats than them. Like, I'm not exactly sure how to scale my dwarves. I'm sure somebody on YouTube will tell me, Rand, you skipped all these really good weapons. Well, I don't know how to use those weapons, so... Future YouTube viewers who know this game better, tell me what weapons I want to use. What I, what I want to put on my dwarves. How to play around these weapons that steal stats and things. I wonder if I should just be buying any items and giving them to people. I don't actually have the good dwarves that give me buffs, give buffs to everybody for their uh, items yet, except this one little girl who does a mini buff. Yeah, like Dying Breath triggered additional time. That's a really good one. That one's stealing stats. Oh, really OP range, dude. Black Lotus. Is that an item I need to look for? There's just a lot of stats on this. Hmm. 
Legendary pouch. I don't take up an item slot. My wearer can carry an additional item. Beautiful. That's probably one of the best ones for this uh, thing here. So I wonder if I want to concentrate these stats on one guy or not. Can you now get an extra item? Yes, he can. That's a crappy one. Do you want to freeze for another Tempe? So I can stack more items on him, probably. Probably I want to freeze for that. Although he's not a six, but it's somebody I could stack items on. Replace her. He's only giving plus two, plus two to my units with items. This guy should be getting huge. Ginormous Tempe over here. No cat choir. We're going to get a choir of Tempes, maybe. Who am I fighting, by the way? The other dwarf player. Well, it doesn't look like he has any sixes unless he's gotten them this, or he or she, they. Uh, unless they have gotten a six this round. Doesn't look like they have a six. Oh, they haven't even hit level six yet. Wow, I've been on six two turns earlier than them, I guess. We're freezing on six for a five. I'm gonna unfreeze. I need level six dwarves more than I need another one of those guys, I feel like. Let's see what he this guy becomes. He becomes 14107. Pretty strong. Man. Apparently I'm not as strong as this dwarf. This dwarf is stronger than me, chat. No! Wow, we got wrecked. We got wrecked there. I thought I was way stronger than that guy. Come on, give us one of the sixes. I don't even care about that upgrade. We need a six dwarf so bad. Dying breath triggered additional time. We have no dying breaths. Come on, I need a six dwarf. I mean, the pouch continues to give good items. You feel a, a distinct lack of cat choirs. Yes! Give your dwarves their item stats times two for the fight. That's what I need. That is what I was rolling for. Okay. That should make these guys huge, I think. So let me actually... I need to just give you big stats now, so... Come on, I can't even... This is this UI kind of not the best. If I do this, give him this 1919 so he gets those stats twice. Something like that. Okay. So this guy should be ginormous now. When he gets this item stats twice. Should be just huge. Always take pouch? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I'm going to get an extra roll by doing that. We cast a spell. No, we're not really doing a spell build. I don't think that's worth Like, it feels like I have one strong dwarf and a bunch of supporting characters that are way weaker. So, looking for pouches for Tempe, doubling up on multi, or... That's about the main thing we're looking for, I guess, to get stronger. We're fighting first place who is a fairy player. Hmm. I need to get blue eyes, white dragon. What's that? Is that an item or a unit? All right, how big do we get? 346. Something. I was really pretty strong. His, his, his uh, stars are pretty strong, though, too. I don't know if we win this. No. He kills all of my units with his stars, it looks like. Oh, 
Oh my god. Oh my god. All right, well, that's great. Getting two of these guys is actually huge. So, who's my weakest one? I think you are my weakest. We got another one of these guys. Um, so, pouches or high stat items to replace crappier items, I guess. I hear you reading chat's dumb card game jokes while I'm doing some work, and it's great. I'm <laughs> glad to hear it. So, rings like this for each boost. I don't think items count as boosts. Boosts, I think, have to be the people in the back row buffing you. So, I see this, and I don't think that works for me for this build. There's another cat choir. I don't think getting health is gonna do me any good. Oh, we're fighting the we're fighting the ghosts, so we actually kinda have a free round. No way we die here. Famous last words though. I freeze on a pouch or a good dwarf. Not a good dwarf. My where's entrance triggers a different additional time. Yes! Yes! We put Arcane Rune on multi. And my dwarves get their item stats four times, five times. Or is better on Tempe? Is that better on Tempe or Multi? I feel like it's better on Multi, even though I don't have that many items to bu boost except on the one guy. The dwarf strategy might have vulnerabilities against certain opponents or in specific scenarios. For instance, there's mention of vulnerability to the treasures that create stars with high attack Oberon and some light vulnerability to the tailor. I don't know what the tailor is. What kind of stuff the tailor does. Sounds like I'm playing Team uh, TFT, fighting a ghost this round, got a free win. Yes, I mean... Nice, 600, 500 sets. Um, there are a lot of similarities in uh, auto battlers. And this is definitely another one of those auto battler type games. Huh. Didn't realize this guy was ranged. But yeah, this is it's it's this is basically a card game version of TFT. All right, I think. And I don't know if it's better to give it to this guy or this guy. Two hundred percent of my item stats. Item stats four times, and I think this will make it five times. Permanent attack multiplied by two. I don't actually have high uh, permanent attack on anybody. This guy upgrading items is pretty cool, too. I feel like that you need to find that earlier or something. Uh, who are we fighting? The other dwarf person. Oh, he's got... Give your dwarves plus four plus four for each item they currently own. So I feel like I'm doing a build where I want all the items that get multiplied on one guy. He's doing a build where he wants to spread the items out to give all your dwarves a bunch of stats. So I think I'm stronger. I think... If I could double multi again, that would be amazing. Grant my wearer stealth, that's interesting. I don't think that'll be hugely useful. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do this. This is a random character, right? And a random character... At the start of the next fight, reduce an enemy character's HP to one. I don't know which character's gonna hit. It must be a random character. If I could knock out one of his front row characters' high health, that would probably be really good, though. So can our one giant Tempe, our one hero dwarf, beat all of Sablier Tinkerbell's dwarves? Let's see how big they get. 
Oh my god. Well, okay, 800, 500. <laughs> We're actually pretty close, but... Well, he got four multis? Oh, he got the Golden King. They're, they're fully upgraded. Oh, that is some OP shenanigans right there. He left an empty space so that all of his dwarves were upgraded. Damn. He had our build, but worse. But somehow got three treasures. Oh, because he's not King Midas. Okay, maybe I don't want to do this build as King Midas where we don't get treasures. All right. All right, well, we were third place. We had one bigger unit, but he had all bigger units. He had all bigger units. Damn. I don't love playing dwarves, because spending all your gold on items feels weird when I want to upgrade my characters and find treasures and buff them with spells. Uh, dwarves can be early and strong in early mid-game. They might get outscaled in late game if the opponent manages to survive long enough. Yeah. Well, I'd like to do... Uh, Lightning Grunner, you seem to know this game well. If I wanted to try to do Fluff Fluffs, do you have any tips? So Fluff Fluffs play around Dying Breaths. They want to... The, level, the first Fluff Fluff is available at level 3. The Dying Breath gives all Fluff Fluffs plus stats. Don't do Fluff Fluffs. But I want to! <laughs> Uh, is that the tip for doing fluff fluffs? Don't do fluff fluffs. I want to. I want to try fluff fluffs. I wonder if King Midas would be good with fluff fluffs because you would double, you would triple them easier. I wonder how useful treasures are for fluff fluffs. Are there a lot of dying breaths and slay treasures? It's the fluff fluffs get buffed from Dying Breath. There's one that gives a boost that makes them slay and get a buff. Evil characters have plus one, plus two. Uh, when you have exactly one mana and zero gold, your spells cost zero gold. I want to try Toy Dino, actually. I'm going to go... I want to try Toy Dino with Hunters. I really enjoyed that last time. That was really strong as well. So... Are there any level 2 hunters? I don't think so. Yeah, this is the start I want. You plus you. Best fluff fluff advice, don't do fluff fluffs. <laughs> I don't know. Are you just saying that to be trolly or what? Fluffs are good. What's the what's the late game strategy? How do you how do you build toward fluff fluffs? Is there something besides fluff fluffs that you build towards? Ooh, I just want to do that spell actually. I think I'm just gonna go. I don't think there's any low-level hunters I want, so I'm just going to get the highest statted minions right now. Are fluffs good, or are they fun? Why not both? Alright, when we hit three, I think it's the first time we can find a hunter. So I could triple the Talking Frog. Not this round, but next round, potentially. I'm kind of just trying to build strong units while we look for Hunters, so... I get a couple cheap spells to cast on these guys. We'll triple that, get a treasure. And I don't want to freeze because... Um, I want to start rolling for the hunters. There's a level... The first really important hunter I think to find is at level 4. The girl that 
buffs your character's attack when on her dying breath. <laughs> you have no idea how to play Fluff Fluffless, but you think they're A tier? Okay. Alright, well, maybe next game we'll hard commit to trying to find some fluff luffs. If I win, I lose the experience. Or if I tie. I think I always tie with this guy's buffed attack, so. Come on, a spell I can cast on a minion or a hunter. Wow, I am not getting any of the stuff I want. Well, okay. Um, unlucky, I guess. Are you a hunter when one of your characters slays? I think there is a hunter that gets a bonus from slays. Yeah, she's at five, but I'm going to take that. Uh, you generally, on Fluff Fluff, so you generally want young Fluff Fluff, Fluff Fluff, Purple Fluff, Fluff Leader, and Good Boy. Get to level four healthy and hit red and green fluffs. Carve out, should car curve out nicely. You have open spots to splash in whatever else you need that you end up tripling or keep you alive. The good boy helps you scale out of control at the end. Okay, that makes sense. Good boy is the level six dog that when he dies, he gives all your good characters his stats, I believe. casting this every time I get him, but there's my hunters. There's Fluff Fluff. I'm not finding any hunters. More spells I can cast on my characters. Holy shnikes. I'm feeling very unlucky. Alright, well let's just um, buff my units. And get something that will sell, I guess. I guess maybe I'm trying too hard to force, but... Whatever. It's fine. Isn't the problem getting too level 4 healthy? Yeah, but that is the fluff meta. I've done many builds where... Or many runs where, um... Like, the challenge seems to be just get to a higher level without taking a bunch of damage. Probably a lot of the builds. Oh my god. No hunters, no spells, no targetable spells on my units. Alright, well, next level is the one I really care about, so hopefully I can get luckier next level. There we go. There's our first hunter we've seen. Okay, who do we sell for that? Let's sell... I've gotten zero minion targetable spells since round two. That's four levels of... four rounds of rolling and not getting any targetable minion spells. That seems really, really unlucky. Apparently fluff builds are not very popular. Well, good. I will hopefully won't have too much uh, competition if I go for it. This guy's got all the Romeos and none of the Juliets. Still no targetable spells. Okay. No. There we go. That's one of the very important units. Maybe the most important unit. Maybe I just give up on tripling this guy. You a hunter? No. You're a slay. 
I tried dogs the other day too, and they didn't do much for me. All right. Finally, I can almost get this guy tripled. I need one more targetable spell next turn. probably some weapons I should be looking for with Hunters 2. One that, like, Dying Breath triggers multiple times and stuff like that. Dogs are supposed to be really good. Wow, that is a big owl you have. But we have a lot of attack, so... We should always at least tie, I think. That's what seems good about Toy Dino. With his high attack, he seems to, like, at least tie most of the time. That is good. And this is perfect. Evil characters. No. Every four spells, you can't spell again. Oh, magnifying glass. Okay. All right, our hunter build is coming together, chat. Hunter build is coming together. Steel stats. I don't think I care about that. Well, I'm still am ranged. Permanent buff. I don't know if I care about that. Uh, I don't want to give anybody the weak slay thing. <laughs> when a character slays, you get a buff. I guess I could do that. I don't know that I'm keeping these guys, but... I know there's a level 5 hunter that has a slay on them, too, so... Probably wouldn't hurt to do that. Seems like a good start to the hunter build. Two of these. The thing that gives us an extra attack. We should be shooting everybody's board down eventually. Nice slay upgrade. You think Juliet can live? Not with my 50 damage. <laughs> okay. Steel stats for my wearer. All your monsters were... Uh, I'm not really doing monsters. Doing hunters. Item slot. Plus five, plus zero. Permanent upgrade. Um, I'd rather find something with experience. Or just upgrades to my dudes, I feel like. If you lose or tie... You lose the X XP. So I have to win. I think I tie that. triple this guy right now. Do I triple a... F I'd have to sell four things. That's not happening. You have a flying sleigh. No, no. I'm gonna keep focused. And we're seeing the fluff fluffs this turn. More hero attack. There she is. Okay, do I make myself weaker? So I don't have to freeze going into five. Damn it, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Um, extra character of your level. Let's do that. I think that'll help me find the hunters I'm looking for. The level five hunter that slays and upgrades your... Hero's attack is the main thing I'm looking for next. Okay. Alright, does 15 times 5 clear the board? Yes! <laughs> uh, two empty slots and our hero just kills them all. There she is! I have 
Your hero's attack times 2.1 slay increase your hero's attack permanently. That is what I'm looking for. So good. Okay. Do I care about your quest? I think so. Hunters, hunters. Are there just good units? So, boost slay is pretty darn good. She's a... She gets buffs every time you spell cast. What about giving her stealth, actually? Giving her stealth so she can't die before she attacks, I think, is really good. This guy gives stealth to the character on the left. I think that would be really good to give her, actually. Make sure she gets her attack off. Do I want to freeze for a little mermaid? Because making her get more slay buffs sounds pretty good, too. How much does it have to sell or freeze? And I don't want to sell or freeze. Okay, I think uh, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Oh my god, you have 92 health. Slay gain 40-40. Holy crap. When one of your characters slays. Wow, I've never done a build like this. That is really strong. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. A double, a uh, tripled woman in the moon. I've never done that build. That is crazy looking. Your characters have slay plus one plus two permanently and knock and charge as a star. A little bit of slaying going on there. I feel like that's not really what I'm trying to play around. That is pretty good if she can actually slay. Uh, maybe this. You are kind of worthless for me right now. I need a good hunter. When I attack and damage a character, attack its own board. Okay. Yes, I want you. That's what I really want. Uh, keep a buff if I win the next fight. What are you... I have 50% of the stats of your dead evil characters. Interesting. Okay. Pretty strong dwarf build. Can I please slay? Barely, okay. Barely we slayed, thank goodness. You did slay, that's good. Our attack should definitely finish them off, so we good to tie there. All right, steal stats from my wearer. I don't think that's good here. Giving you something that just gives pure attack would probably be good. Hunters, yes! Boost plus two plus two and give dying breath. Increase your hero attack by one permanently. That is what I've been looking for. Those two guys. All right, so that. That. Um. Actually, this. So we're giving all of our front row... Gives us a uh, boost to stuff if they die. Although that guy's huge. I'd love to get him on my board. I need to triple one of these things. Hmm. 
We actually are... No, that's not a boost. That's a boost. Really would like to triple one of these guys. Next level we get to six, so I don't want to freeze here. Uh, but now I want to freeze here. Um... I would love to triple her. Can I sell five units to get enough gold to buy you? Not really. Not without completely wrecking my board. I am fighting... I am fighting the ghost. I don't want to... I don't want to sell anything. I'm just going to do this. Okay, we got our sleigh. That's good. Hopefully he actually kills on my front row. I think he should. So we get all our buffs. Beautiful. Okay. <laughs> we tied the ghost. Okay. That. And we are level 6. So there we go. Sherlock Holmes. For as long as you have one or more characters alive on your board, this fight... Add 100, plus 100 to your hero attack. That is very good. I really need to triple something to make room on my board. Entrance triggers. What we don't need is entrance triggers. We need dying breath triggers doubling. Wow, woman in the moon, the sleigh. I only have one thing slaying, though. Oh, and there's Van Helsing. All right, so we're finding the good units. Um, make sure both of them get their chance to slay. <laughs> Too many units. <laughs> Too many good units I want to put on my board when I play Hunters. I need to triple something is what I need to do. He was already dead as heck and you still tied. Well, I, what I will say is when you play Hunters with this character, it feels like a lot of times you don't win. You just don't lose. Like, buffing this guy's attack so he attacks a bunch of times is when your units die, they've often done enough damage to the enemy's board so that Toy Dino can finish them off with his crazy amount of attacks. That's at least how I'm trying to play this. Alright, so I'm gonna sell and then buy and then roll for a triple next round. That's the plan. One, two... I have, I think, three or f three different units I could triple. <clears throat> well, that's a big dwarf build. Please tell me I can slay. Very nice. What? Oh my god, they killed my freaking stealth unit with a goddamn cheating spell. Is that just a random spell? Oh, that sucks. I lost one of my slays and I feel cheated. I feel cheated. Gretel can get truly massive. Which one's Gretel? Oh, this girl? Yeah. Permanent buff. No, I need, I need to triple one of my units. I need to triple. There we go. Okay. Destroy the first enemy that attacks kills one of your characters. When you get me, choose an extra hero with plus one choice. When you replace me, remove your last, your additional last hero. If I'm in position one. Double your hero's underlined powers from now on. Underlined powers. There are no underlined powers, so that doesn't work. An extra hero with extra attack, I guess. Um, I don't think this replaces my hero. Prevent my death might be good. If I, I haven't even hit 20 HP yet. Double the permanent stats. That might be good. 
Okay, um, let me see where I want to do this, what I want to do now. I just need to triple one or two more units here. Another double. You gotta be shitting me with all these doubles right now. One, two. What else can I sell? Three to buy you. Damn it, I just calculated. Alright, we're just not gonna be invisible. Do this. Oh, I didn't even see that there were two of them. Holy crap. Okay. Um. I'm not sure the order there. Unyielding. Hmm. Does she eventually spill out of her field tile? I don't know what you mean by that. Come on, get my sleighs. We're getting our sleighs, that's good. Nice. Good, we're getting our buffs. Super good. I think I might need Sherlock Holmes to be to die quicker because as long as you have one or more characters alive on your board at 100% to your hero's attack I think he has to die on the front row for this to be good uh, if you have one space your characters are upgraded your characters have plus two plus two of each type front row has plus 15 plus two Hmm, plus 15 plus 2 is not bad. If I leave an open space, they would both be upgraded. If I pick that one. Everybody else is upgraded, but... I think that might be really good. If I do this, they will be upgraded. Watch me now find the upgrade to her next. Do it that way. I don't want to give her unyielding, so when she attacks, she takes no damage, maybe. I think I need to keep an eye out for the thing that doubles dying breath things. So he'll be upgraded. And these two will both be upgraded with this... Golden King, I believe. You mean she grows massive, so what if she no longer fixed in the tiny rectangle? Ah, I gotcha. Oh my god, these spells just destroyed my build. I love it when random spells completely wreck your build, you know? So, hashtag balanced. Well, I think we still win this. Because we just, well, we tie this, but god... <laughs> Random spells. I didn't. I don't know if I got any slays from those because of the random spells. Do I want to have another triple of that? I think I do. I might replace the Golden King if I get enough good upgraded units here. Your hero attack. This feels a little late for this. Oh, another Sherlock Holmes. Okay. That is going to be insane, actually. know exactly how to position this. Another one of you? No. Slay permanent buff. Dying breath triggered additional time. I want that. Um, a dinosaur toy that casually mops up shiznit like demons have had Helsings and Kings at the end of the match is also kind of hashtag unbalanced. True. <laughs> You're not lying. You ain't lying. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, I'm fighting a really, really dead ghost right now, so looks like we're perfectly safe here. Good, we got all of our buffs. Beautiful. Alright, who's dying breath? I think until the last round, we want her dying breath to go off twice. Her dying breath gives us long-term damage here. When we're on the like later rounds, we want his dying breath to go off twice. Because then we have an insane amount of attack for all of our buffs, I think. Another Sherlock Holmes. Yes, I do want you. Oh, I can just upgrade a character next turn, and I can just have an insane number of Sherlock Holmes. That would be actually crazy. Okay, let us freeze for that. Upgrade Sherlock Holmes by another Sherlock Holmes, and we're going to have a ridiculous amount of plus 100% of to our hero's attack, which buffs all of our stats. What the hell is a zombie Romeo, the one with flowers? Um, a zombie Romeo, like, gets stats from evil characters dying or something. Oh my god, this random spell person is the one that's messing me up the most. I think we still destroy him, but it's still annoying. Random spells turning my people into pigs and stuff. Keep tying this person, too. Alright, so... Um... How do I want to do this? Because if I give insane attack to my character, that gives stats to some of my other characters. Uh, everybody's upgraded except these two girls, and I want them to stay upgraded. Okay. Something like that. Giving stealth might be good. I don't know what I'm to spend the money on that. So if I can get her upgraded... I can replace this hero mat, uh, no, the, uh, Golden King and put everybody back on my board, I think. So many magnifying glass users, is that a neighborhood detective club? Yes. <laughs> it's called the Sherlock Holmes Fan Club, run by Sherlock Holmes, the leader of the fan club, for himself. Oh, this girl. Oh, good. We kill the one that gets all the sleigh bonuses. That could have been bad. The scale. Oh my god, she has 900... Oh my god, look how... Look how huge these grown-up Gretels are! Oh, she's, she does get huge. Who said she gets huge? Tyler said, look at this. Grown-up Gretel is all grown up, chat. Holy crap. There's some crazy stuff going on with grown-up Gretel. Cast a spell, no. I'm looking to triple her. Although having two non-tripled versions that get Golden King upgraded might be even better. I don't know. I just don't like having the empty space to make that happen. Come on, any triples? Is that? That's entrance. No, we want dying breath doubled. Flying to attack the back row. That might be useful on some of these guys. That might actually be good. Nah. Uh, pig, nah, it's fine. 
Trying to triple Gretel, I think. Good luck feeding that monster. Now, don't be mean. <laughs> nah, I don't want you. Come on, Gretel. Need to triple you. <laughs> Stealth. No. This guy is you asking. I have 50% of the stats of your dead evil characters. So apparently having a bunch of evil characters die a bunch is how you buff that guy. Because every time Sherlock Holmes dies, he gives our hero a bunch of attack, and her stats are based off of our hero's attack. That's kind of why things are getting so huge here. Oh, you 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 effed up. You killed the wrong bro. <laughs> look at look at this. 2825. That might be that might be the two largest units I've ever had. No, no shade on Gre uh, Gretel over here. <laughs> oh my god. You see why I like hunter, uh, hunter hunters? It's fun. Maybe I don't even want to triple her and just keep the Golden King to keep double of them. Permanent attack is only at five, but doubling it doesn't really do us much good. Entrance. No, I'm looking for Dying Breath triggering, triggering a different, another time. And honestly, if I put this other Sherlock Holmes in instead of her... For our last fight, it's going to get even more ridiculous. Oh, this is the girl that keeps beating us. Okay, there it is. Do I replace... I think I am, so I can put some other units in. Slays trigger additional time. Boosters in the back row affect your whole front row. Um, Slays are not bad, I guess. We are boosting... The entire front row could be interesting, too. Yeah, let's do the boosters in the back row of the entire front row. Place the Golden King. Now, how do I do this? Um, let's see here. Entrance. Go first. Basically triple these guys, or doubling my dying breath thing is what I'm looking to do here. Do I want her on the front or the back row is the question. I think I need her on the back row so that all these dying breaths can go off. So that way she gets just ginormously huge, I think. I think this is the way to set this up. Try this build with Ares. You attack before your troops do. You can clear half their board if you do it right. Yeah, I've been wanting to try that. I haven't gotten to play Ares a single time yet. Oh, that's an unlucky hit. Oh my gosh. It's freaking spells, but... No! Freaking... How? How is random spell... Frogging my big girl? How is ra random spell hitting my most important unit? That is so unlucky. Double aura. Oh my god, that's actually insane. <laughs> Double her aura. Uh, okay. Her aura is the thing that gives her the giant stats. That's wrecked because I put all eggs into one basket. Well, she's the one that... Is the only one I can make ginormous, I think. I don't think there's... There's the other hunter I've been passing that I think can get really huge, but... It's too late, because I would have needed to get, gotten him permanent stats earlier. Okay, I can get another one of her. If we lose this one and don't die, we'll have another grown-up Gretel to have our eggs in two baskets. <laughs> Mm 
But yeah, I'd like to try this build with Ares, Tyler said. I've, I've yet to, I think, have the opportunity to play Ares. So if I ever see him on my four starting choices, even if it's one that's locked behind the in-game currency, I need to spend the currency and play him. This round is going a long time. All right, no spells that turn my girl into a frog or a pig or whatever, please. It's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. He is huge. 5,000? 2,000. <laughs> You're 900, 400. I, sh I raise you a 5,000, 1,900. <laughs> Look at that. There we go. There we go. All right, we buy her. It's about time we get rid of this girl, I think. This should be the last round. And if we can find another one of these double amplifiers, I wouldn't be able to afford it, but... Okay. Okay, how do I do this? What's the best way to do this? I think we lose Dr. Watson. I think we lose these two to get these girls in. To finish him. Boost ability? No, it's the aura ability we boost. This is the guy that if you get him early, he gets stats every time you raise your guy's attack. He can get really big, but... Didn't really make that happen this time. All right, so dying breath triggered additional time. Put that on you. Put these girls in. Maybe like this. So these guys dying breath gets our board huge or our attack huge. This guy clears everybody, and then they have ginormous stats, hopefully. That's the plan. It was hilarious how she got turned into a pig. Imagine how much bacon that was. <laughs> Come on. Be nice to Greta. She's beautiful. She is a beautiful, strong woman. Do not get on her bad side. She will destroy you. This booster thing now isn't doing us any good, but that's fine. It buffed us up pretty well. Put Watson under the first two Sherlocks. Well, if if we went another round, yes, but I'm pretty sure this is going to be the final round. So I want to be the strongest I can be now. Wow, these are some... Big units. We lose if we get unlucky spells that turn us all into pigs like that. Please don't do that over and over. Man, that was unlucky to take that guy out before the Sherlock Holmes has died. Alright, how big are we? 8,600, 8, 3,200. GG. Is that it? Nice! <laughs> All right. That was a fun one. First place, finally. Wait. Oh, she had a thing to not die. Oh, my God. Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. She had the uh, artifact that lets her lose without dying once. All right, well, let's see if we can mess up her thing by turning a, a unit into a pig or something. I think I want this guy to go first. Oh, she just starts with one. Oh, okay, that's what her ability is, gotcha. He's gonna just look for a bunch of turn my units into pigs. Okay, double aura again. All right, let's get that. On you. It's still about how many how many of my Gretas can she turn into pigs? And maybe I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna have one of them 
Because when he dies, I want him to die after these guys get their auras off. Why are you only 50? Oh, you're the, you're the smaller one, that's why. Something like this, I guess. All right, can we win twice? I don't know, the random spells and the pigs and the poison apples that reduce our health. They could screw us. It's all about the random spells, it feels like. She's just buying a bunch of pig transforms right now, yeah. Oh, can you see what spells they're casting? You can't, right? Hopefully she found no pigs. Okay, she didn't get any pigs. Please, no pigs. That's fine. We survived that easy. That's fine. That's fine. She is huge now. I think we got it. I think we're there. We're over the hump. She didn't take damage when she attacked because of the unyielding thing. 8,000, 4,000. <laughs> Frickin' Greta. 8,000, 4,000. That's a GG, man. That is the biggest single unit I've ever gotten, that grown-up Gretel. GG. Alright, we have time for one more. We gotta try to do a Fluff Fluff build. That was a great win. I wanna end with a Fluff Fluff build, if possible. Greta, Greta, cookie time. That's right. I'm going to not have a cookie. It's the end of the stream almost, so. And I'm going to go work out later. Definitely getting first place in the neighborhood farm animals comp competition. <laughs> Stop calling Greta a pig. <laughs> Greta will F you up. She will punch you to the next county. Greta is no pig. She's a strong, confident woman. Just look at her arms. All right, we're gonna try to force fluff fluffs. Uh, what did you say earlier about fluff fluffs? You want to get to level four? Um, healthy. Hit the red and green fluffs. Curve out nicely. Um, open spots, splash, and whatever else you need. Goodbye, health to scale out of control at the end. So, the three and four get the fluff fluffs. Just get a good board up until three, probably. Um, brought to you by the man who likes the petite ladies. I mean, it doesn't, even if my preference is petite ladies, it doesn't mean I can't appreciate a strong, curvy woman. You know? Greta, Greta looks good for her size. Be nice to Greta, everybody. All right, let's see what our uh, hero choices are here. So what about King Midas for Fluff Fluffs? Where we only need two to triple them. Do we think that's good, or do we need treasures for Fluff Fluffs to be good? Uh, I'd have to buy one of the others, and I don't think I want to buy either of these. Brother Gambler, at the start of each fight, for every three lost unspent gold plus mana, give a random character permanent buff. For each level buff two, increase the buff by plus two. I'm gonna go King Midas for Fluff Fluffs, I guess. Alright, um... Try Dog Deck. Dogs into Fluff Fluffs, maybe. Might not be bad. Do I freeze for that dog? Mm, I'd rather have multiple happy retrievers, I think. Uh, yeah. Because if I double him, if I double him, I get one gold and can buy two units, actually. I'm going to try dogs, but only up until level three where I'm looking for fluff fluffs. Hardcore looking for fluff fluffs. All right, I want to double you so I can get extra money here. Perfect. It gives me one gold, and then I can buy 
Actually, farmers and dogs have some synergy, apparently, I think. So maybe farmers and dogs into fluff fluffs or something. Hmm, we lose that one. Not good. Not a good round. Early free princes are so strong. Okay, and that gives us an extra gold. Can buy a dog. If I sell you, I double and double her. Hmm. Let's just give you some stats, I guess. Three is where we're looking for fluff fluffs. Lassie time, that's right. So when this guy dies, he gives buffs to these guys so that we want him in the front. Oh, but he won't attack! Oh my god, that's not cool, man. I need to give him one attack so he attacks and dies before our back row. Alright, so what are we looking for? Fluff fluffs. But I need to not die while trying to find fluff fluffs, so... No fluff fluffs yet. Why is the farmer so young? Officer, I found a child labor propaganda. <laughs> Don't you know if you grow up on a farm, you're forced to work all the time. That's how it works. Now oh, this guy's got some big units already. Okay, good. We don't die. Die. It's good. These characters in your hand, the food. Come on, fluff fluffs. If you lose or tie, lose experience. So I need to win. I don't think I'm ever winning against anybody with my fluff fluff force build. Alright, I think I just gotta put some stuff on the board. Um Cats and dogs playing together, mass hysteria. Maybe I can get some buffs with you, I don't know. I know, not a single fluff fluff with all my rolls. It's alright. It's three and four, we need to find them anyway. Nice, we got our stats. Uh, we are not tying this. Holy crap. Freaking demons are so strong early. This is a really bad. I might have to restart and do another one. Okay, fluff fluff. First one. Um. This is a gold. I can sell stuff for other fluff fluffs. Blizzard is great when we have this guy. All right, we have one fluff fluff so far. Um, that thing looks like a very fat legless cat. Yes, that is what it looks like for sure. Our first fluff fluff will get a permanent plus two plus zero from the blizzard and this guy's buff. This cat's just gonna die and summon another cat, sadly. I gotta say, this, uh, this lobby is not looking good for fluff fluffs. I don't know if I played it poorly or I'm just got unlucky rolls or what. Okay, well, we don't, we don't take damage here. We're tying sometimes. 
Come on, Fluff Fluffs, where are you at? Yes! Dying breath. Uh, I don't know the order I want to go in here. Bring on the Fluff Fluffs. Um... Spell that helps me take less damage is probably good. I'm gonna do one of those. Alright, we got a couple. We're starting. Dog, fluff, fluff, build, go. Hopefully. Get that way, maybe. This is thoroughly inferior to a normal non-amputated cat. <laughs> You're just being mean to all my characters today, uh, madman. Greta and her fluff fluff kitty cats that are amputees deserve respect. Oh, wow, they just killed all of my freaking dudes. Oh man, that's that Ares you're talking about. Holy crap. Oh my god, man. I this is I'm getting really unlucky, I feel like with this um this lobby. I'm going to have to do one more attempt on Fluff Fluffs because this lobby is just really really unlucky. Taking so much damage. I'm even heal one here. Oh my god. Not a single other fluff fluff so far. There's one. I feel like I'm gonna die. Um Okay, when he dies, all fluff fluff F plus four plus two. This is not looking good, chat. We are not getting the fluff fluffs we need. Maybe I should um, do fluff fluffs with the girl who can survive one death or whatever. Maybe Midas is actually really bad for fluff fluffs because you don't want to double them to fill your board. I don't know. Oh god, a giant Romeo and a giant Juliet. Oh Jesus. Are we dead? Three health. It's freaking unlucky. Finally getting our fluff fluffs, but seems far too little, far too late. They're late, but they're here. Um, I don't even know the order I want to do this in. I need two more gold. So if I sell you two guys, I still don't have a full board, so... I think we want the permanent one first. All right, a little bit of healing. Do I, oh, do I want to... Hmm. I'm freezing going into five if I do that. I think I do that. Do I ever live with six HP instead of three HP? Maybe? I don't know. Probably not. I think we're dead. This feels pretty dead. dead town here. All aboard the dead train. Yeah, those are some pretty big demons. Our fluff ups are big, but not big enough. Yeah, we're not even getting really good hits that would keep us alive. All right, I was gonna end after this run, but we have died so fast. We have to try fluff fluffs again. Seventh place, that was a rough one, man. 
All right. Give that another try. If you're not being mean, you're just commenting on what's happening. For all we know, the spell Greta was hurling was Dispel instead, revealing Greta's true form. Oh, you mean the spell they were casting on Greta. Man, rude. All right. I feel like Midas was not the best hero for that. I feel like he makes for a weak board early when you're doubling things and not getting treasures. Show you believe in the power of the fluff. I need somebody who can roll a lot or who can get free early stats, I feel like. I got screwed by not getting fluffs early enough. I mean, I got to... I got... Yeah, I had, what, one one turn of level 3 where I didn't get any fluffs. That was only one turn. I feel like I got screwed by falling too far behind with Midas's tripling mechanic not helping me. I feel like King Midas is hard to play, and I'm not playing him right. Each round, the first time you reach zero gold, you get a free roll. I don't think your shop costs less. <laughs> you keep offering me King Midas. My just now they say I'm not good with them. Okay, she gets extra rolls. Let's let's play with extra rolls here. Well, that was fast. Okay. Um, so strong early characters are. Like you're not bad. The. Um, The little frog that you can turn into the big guy. Do I want to get the two buff people? Mm, nah. Tinkerbell is strong. Oh, the fairy is strong? Because she gets that. Yeah, she gets that free attack, I guess. Didn't think about that. Or the free star thing. I feel like uh, she's not bad early. Getting some spell buffs on you could be not terrible. I don't think I care about freezing for a double cat. Now this this is not the kind of cat I would get if I'm going cat build. This cat's actually better for like um tie uh. For angel build because the cat counts as an angel. Freaking Artemis is insane, man. But maybe I will take her if I just can get a double out of it. Not bad. Okay, okay. There's the frog. I could get it for the frog, but next level is three, and three is first level for fluff fluffs, and we're all in on fluff fluffs. Come on, fluff fluff. Everybody in chat, pull out your fluff fluff emotes. I don't know what that is. The cat angel build. Yes. The angel build is built around... Um... Wow, that's a whole bunch of slays. Is built around the, like, star... Building up stars, which I don't think I've done that on stream yet. Come on, fluff fluff. Come on, fluff fluff. All right, I think I should fill my board this turn instead of tunneling on Fluff Fluff. So let's make it so we don't take a bunch of damage. Get a three and a two. That gives us a free roll. No Fluff Fluffs. So let's fill our board. That way we don't die while looking for Fluff Fluffs. Black Flax. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Black Flax, even better than Fluff Fluffs. All right, I want my ranged attacker to get an attack in, please. Nice. And then you can slay. Oh man, ideal start. It's a really good round for us. Ooh, and we even do damage? No, you have triple hit, damn. All right, now is the time for Fluffs. Where are you, Fluffs? You're not here. All right, well, she will buff my angels. My cat angels. 
not cast that. First fluff. Okay, who do we sell to get our fluff in? You and you. First fluff get. We can roll. Uh, do we care about tripling? Do we freeze for a triple? No, I'm not going to freeze for that. Might be worth freezing for, but... I should have swapped them out. I need you to get your sleigh to, to be a little stronger. Damn. Misplay. Misplayed that. It's alright. We're not really playing around that one unit, so... Hopefully not too big of a deal. Freaking beautiful, man. That's what I'm talking about. A fluff fluff army. Gain one XP. If you lose or tie, lose the XP. So who am I fighting? Damn, I wish I was fighting this. Well, actually, I don't know. How's that guy dead already? How do you... He must have surrendered. I don't think we win that, so... Okay, I will do that. Good characters have plus one, plus one. Level three treasure. New hero. I don't know if a lot of the fluff loves are that big. Let's do that. No other fluff loves. Okay. We go to four next round, so I don't want to freeze on three unless there was a fluff. All right, she should get your sleigh. That's good. Our fluffs are dying, so they're getting their buff. Very good. Good tie. Uh, there's good boy, yeah, but he's at six. I don't want to get a low-level treasure for a character I'm not even going to get to level six. I'm hoping this will give me some more value before then. Maybe I'll try to play some angels. Uh, that's not bad. No. No, it's all fluffs. All fluffs. Where are my fluffs? You're the wrong type of fluff. Oh, I'm not going for hero attacks here. Oh. Plus two plus one for each angel on your board. I play angels to try to stay alive to look for the fluffs? You're a strong unit. Okay, there we go. Fluff. Oh, he's ranged. Oh, I, this positioning is really bad, actually. Okay, we're getting our fluff buffs, and that's the most important thing. Oh, man. Oh, I really misplayed this. My placement was so bad. Row characters damage. Yes, that looks really good actually. Man, I am not getting the fluffs, my friends. I'm trying. I am trying. Uh, do I want to do this instead? Eh, let's just get more stats. I don't think the attack buff's going to be that big. <sighs> fluff fluffs. Come on, fluff fluffs. Pull your weight. Find your friends. Tell me where to find them. 
We do get a level 3 treasure next turn. This guy will do his range attack if we don't get insta-killed, at least. Nice. Okay. Well, he didn't get insta-killed. Okay, he got an attack in. That's good for us. My god, these freaking giant demons! <sighs> Keep playing people who have, like, these really strong starting builds. First character has plus 14. Character shop at plus 2, plus 2. Additional item that costs... Um, I'm buying fluff fluffs. I guess this is best. But if I want to not die, this is probably better. Let's do this and try to find some fluffs, man. Okay. Anything good? Prevent your death. Additional item. More gold. Alright. Let's prevent our death. That might be the way to stay in this, potentially. Mm, is that any good? Oh, we're fighting this guy. Actually, that'll be really good against that guy. Oh, we go to five next turn. We are fighting the um, the ghost, which is really good for us. I just hope he actually kills our fluff fluffs for our buffs, buff buffs. How come the animal cat? How cat? How come the cat counts as an evil animal? Animal. WTF? Uh, because he makes them attack stronger. I don't know. I don't think any of our fluff fluffs are dying here. <laughs> Oh, that was a bad round for us. Even though we didn't die, we didn't get any fluff, fluff, buff, buffs. It's rough, rough. Okay, making all sorts of stupid puns. Sorry. I mean, you're welcome, chat. If I lose or tie, so I need to win. I am so much weaker than that guy. Three gold. Here's a proud corgi. Mm, he's not really getting buffed. Uh, opponent's back row by 14 damage. That might help us stay in the game. Ah, oh, fluff, fluffs don't exist. There we go. If I am a fluff, boost. If I'm a fluff, trigger my dying breath an additional time. We need you. Who do we lose? We you we lose you. And we do this. We don't care about these guys anymore so much. Sorry, animals. So, boost. If I am a fluff, trigger my dying breath in additional time. So these dying breaths will be triggered in additional time with this boost on them. We have the makings of a fluff fluff build, but we're at 15 health. We do have one extra death to maybe survive, so maybe. Yeah, I got my free spin in, yep. Please just don't kill my back row with a random spell or something. Okay, we killed her, that's good. You die, that triggers our buff, that's good. You triggered the buff, that's perfect. Okay, good. Good round for us. Good round. Ooh, do we even win this? No, we tie. Oh, we do win. Nice. All right, we're in it. Fluff Fluff is in it to win it, chat. In it to win it. The good thing about Fluff Fluff is it's easy to know what you're looking for. Big red, green, or purple... Fluffs, and that's all we're looking for. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, baby. All right, the permanent buffs are the one we want the most. These just give buffs to 
all of our other puff puffs. There we go. The puff puff dream is alive, chat. What are we fighting? Got some big units. All right, I'm going to. I can use a poison apple. I am going to use a poison apple. Okay. So I think I want the greens to attack first because we want them to die and get our permanent buffs. Because these don't give permanent buffs. They just buff all the puff puffs on the board. I think. So we want to double up on the permanent buff buffs. Magic new meta after the next update. Bog build, where each slot is dedicated to making a different build. Each slot is dedicated to making a different build. What do you mean? Each slot on your board or each slot on the enemy? Doesn't matter how you do it. Just make it a mess on the board and you are golden. Oh, like every unit is a different type. They might do... There, I feel like there are some games that like reward you for... Playing around uh, multiple unit type kind of things. Okay, please kill these ones. Thank you. We need these permanent buffs. Beautiful. Oh my god, that guy's huge. Okay, we tie. Perfect. Alright, we are not five yet. Who are we playing? We're playing... <laughs> She's... <laughs> really? All day. I don't see a single fluff fluff player. I try to play it and there's somebody else going for it. All right, we 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 have more. We are the true fluff fluff maestro. Don't steal my fluff fluffs, they're mine. All right, uh, we go to six next turn, and there's a... Is there a level six fluff fluff? Let me see. Character... Fluff. Yes, there's a blue one. Aura, your fluffs have slayed. Trigger my dying breath one time. So that's the one that you put in the back row. Whenever they slay something, they'll also trigger their dying breath. That's what we really want. We get the full build going. Which is that. XP we don't need now. There's a treasure called Orchestra, which gives your characters buffers per type of character. Ah, yeah, you're right. I have seen that one. So the more different unit types you have, you get a buff per unit unit type. I have seen that one. I don't know if I've... I think I've bought it once or twice. Alright, who fluffs Reign Supreme? No, well, that was not a good hit on my uh, on the poison apple. Damn it, that back row hit screws some of our buffs. Oh my god! Please tell me my 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 front row ones die, please. Hit left, hit left. Oh man, nine times two should guarantee though. Okay, good, we got that. We want the permanent buffs. That's the most important thing. Actually, I'm not even doing this right. I need the upgraded one to be here. Holy immediate fluff, fluff, buff, buff. Awesome. Okay. Your fluffs have slay trigger. Slay, trigger my dying breath one time. Okay. And there is a mirror one that... I don't know if that'll be good for... Will the mirror fairy be good for this build? It's the triple build, that's right. We need good boys, what we need next? How does good boy get stats though? Because good boy starts small. Will that do us any good? If we can kill that thing off, I guess maybe it's not terrible. 
Um, oh, we want the permanent stats more than this one, so let's do it this way. Or do we just get a good boy and cast every buff spell on him we can find? Is that how you do it? Actually, can I... Is it only the first time you reach zero gold to get an extra roll? Okay, I was going to say if I can keep selling one, then re-rolling for free. But no, that would be cheap. Alright, that'll tr trigger our sleigh. I feel like our puff puffs are going to start not dying. <laughs> They're getting too big to die. So this sleigh was really important. All right. All right, maybe this fluff fluff build has legs, even though our fluff fluffs don't, lol. Okay. Flying, don't know if I care about that. Damage your front row by 04. Not that, oh my God, that is some big, big Greta going on there. The build has legs, the creature's not so much, that's right. Ooh, that's really good. Dying Breath trigger an additional time. Does that work when your Dying Breath is triggered by a sleigh? I don't know. I don't actually know how that works. I don't know how slaying, turning a sleigh into a dying breath or a dying breath into a sleigh, how that combines. I'm gonna look for the um, triples first though, even though I think that might be a good item for this build. Hold on, where are my triples at? Damn. Keep seeing this over and over. I uh, tried to freeze. I don't know if it's worth... Maybe it would have been something worth testing, actually. At least we get our slay, our, our deaths, when we have a unit this strong. Okay. This is a pretty darn strong build here. But so are our fluff fluff strong. Nice. Uh, range attacks OP. Okay, all right, all right. Not a terrible loss. I hope I didn't miss good boy. I was looking for fluffs so hard. I don't know if I missed good boy. Entrance. None of these are entrance. Is this girl still stealing my fluffs? I don't know. I feel like I'm having a hard time getting our fluffs. There we go. Uh, starting board is at least two free spaces. Your characters have plus four, plus three. Every three characters items you sell, they sell by more. Characters just have more. Ugh, none of this looks that good. Um... Let's just go more stats, I guess. I wonder if she would be good, because everybody, all these guys slay. No, but I, I would want her to be on the back row, I think. Okay, I gotta roll. Okay, good. Front row, permanent buff, yes. Okay, and one roll, one roll. We're good. Okay. Uh, oh, okay, I think I got that there in time. That was close. Did we do it? Okay, we're good. Our full fluff fluff build. It is a live chat. The fluff fluffs are alive. Another caster, though. Okay. That's 
annoying, but fine. I think I need to swap my purple flop. Well, no, I think we're good. Oh, there's some big spell casters here, man. But our fluff fluffs are also huge, so. Oh, am I dead? No, okay, we're prevented. Our crystal proct, right? Yeah, our crystal proct. Okay, we're fighting a ghost that will hopefully will at least tie. So, good boy. Although, I don't know if good boy is good enough to keep us in this. Slay permanent buff. Slay trigger an additional time. I just don't know how these items work with the slay dying breath thing. You think I'm fluffed. Well said, well said. I need to double the purple fluff, or triple the purple fluff now. Come on. Triple fluff. Upgrade. I can upgrade one next turn. Okay, I want permanent buffs this round, so we do this. Permanent fluff buffs, chat. Okay. No. We might be fluffed. Lol. We shouldn't die here, and hopefully we get some pretty decent buffs. Oh, come on. Don't kill that guy instantly. Wait, why did he get to go triple hit? Oh, he had triple angels. No wonder this guy's dead. That's a... Seems like a terrible build. Alright, I do not feel like we got nearly as many buffs as I was hoping here. Alright, I mean, our fluffs are big, but this seems like another lobby where it's just kind of insanely strong. Alright, well, that's a triple. Double your hero's underlying powers. That's not good. Auras don't care about types except cat and fluff. What does that mean? Does that mean our this is not good for us, right? This would only be Wait, that would be good if we found a good boy Right Does this work for good boy if we found one? That's bad for me, okay slays additional time then All right I think I need this to make all of our other fluffs as big as possible. And okay, if I triple it, I guess maybe. There's finally good boy. This feels too late, right? How do I even use this? Feels too late. Hmm. How big are these guys? Okay, I think our units are bigger. Giggity, that's what she said. Alright, our fluffs are getting pretty big. Never too late for good puppers, huh? Well, I did buy one. I don't quite know how the good boy is supposed to work. Alright, well, we killed that guy. We're at least, what level are we? Or what place are we? Are we at least fourth place right now? Give 100% of my stats to three of your good characters. So, like, I would need to give him stats. 
He ain't no scratchers. <laughs> Upgrade a character. That's gonna make all of our fluff fluffs bigger. So if he gets a... If he kills, he slays, he'll trigger his dying breath three times, and another two times, to give all of our fluff fluffs a bunch of extra stats. I think that's how that'll work. Entrance, no entrances. This build is kind of damn scary. The more they die, the more they multiply. Kind of like ghosts in the Heroes of Might and Magic. Yeah. Playing, playing first place. I've seen this build. That build gets crazy. I'm actually going to do this. Because I think giving my fluff fluff stats this round is more important than the permanent buffs from those guys. <laughs> All right, do we live? This shadow build can be insane. It's a bunch of stealth enemies that get giant buffs. Oh my god. 4,600. Okay, that's big. That is some big fire mages. Oh my god. Yeah. Killed that one. Oh my god, he's even ranged. A 2,000 damage ranged mage. Yeah, this sh I've never done that shadow build before, but I've seen it a couple times. I wish I could look at the build that killed you in your history. Because when you go to history, it shows your build. You, you would get that roll for free next turn. No reason to sell like that. The gun trigger. Okay, it's fine. I was dead, so there was no next turn, so... When you're dying and you're just trying to find something, I feel like saving your gold or your units doesn't seem that good. Well, I really wish there was a way to see what killed you, man. I guess that would be too much stuff to save on their server. What is this? What do these buttons do? Is this going back to my previous games? It is, yeah. Scrolling... This is weird. I don't know. So this scroll... That's another page, I guess. Okay, yeah. So that was like... Maybe that's previous day. January 18th. January 16th. Okay, so it's just... It, it, there's a backlog of games you've played, I guess. Alright, my friends. Well, we've gone a little over six hours. This was fun. Still Puff Puffs. I've yet to get a win. I mean... Third place isn't terrible, but I don't know how to scale fast enough to keep up with, like, the crazy mage builds, that crazy shadow build that just destroyed us. We'll probably play this some more at some point. Um, tomorrow is Friday. We'll be playing uh, WoW Classic Hardcore and then some uh, Baldur's Gate 3 in the evening with Shogi and Ramses. But uh, we, and we might maybe try an angel build. I want to try that shadow build that where everybody's stealth. That looks really strong. Um, but uh, we will definitely play some more of this on stream when we get extra bonus free time. So, as usual, thank you all for the support. Hope you had a good time. Thank you for the bits, the follows, the subs, give the subs, lurking, hanging out, all the amazing stuff you all do sports stream. Couldn't do it without you awesome people. I will see you all tomorrow for some WoW or next week for FTL. See you all rock. Peace out. Happy gaming. Later, my friends.